Uh, Jules, just quickly, because Craig mentioned it, you know, this is a silly season. We're obviously talking, speculating, hypotheticals. But there seems to be a genuine, genuine divide now between the haves, and I'm talking Chelsea, PSG, Manchester City, and the have-nots, in the sense that you look at a team like Liverpool have had so much success over the last two or three years. They don't have that financial stability to go head-to-head, -head, have they, with these teams in these big transfers. And that can only cause a gulf between these sides. That's right. That's a very good point, Dan. And, and you can easily see the way the ownership of Chelsea, PSG and Man City is built compared to you know, other clubs like, like Liverpool, for example. Uh, and even to a certain extent, it's a bit different by Manchester United, although I think they will invest heavily this summer. They already have with Jadon Sancho. And I think Rafael Varane is next and, and others too. But yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a very good point. It's a summer where financial fair play is non-existent. Uh, it, it, will, it, will be, it will still be there in the future, but in a very different way. And I'm not sure how exactly what, what kind of intent with it, but certainly not the intent that it used to be five or six years ago. So this is the summer, though. If you're Chelsea, PSG and City, this is the yeah. summer to go for it. I don't care what, P what Pep Guardiola says. I think he can afford a £100 million striker if he wants to. And, and I think they, if they can, they will because they not have another opportunity like this to do it again. And, and certainly there will be a point where the, the money won't be there anymore, even for them to spend. See, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with what you just said there. Why? Because uh, you said it's the haves and the have-nots and you pointed to, to Liverpool. Yep. I think Liverpool have the funds to spend. They don't. I don't think no, 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 so. They no, no. don't, they don't. No, 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 no. I don't think they Tell me why. I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay. They don't have the cash flow. Well, no, I'll tell you why. The ownership don't want to spend. OK, OK. Right. but That's, that's the difference. Yes. Right, that's the difference. But there's been no suggestion that they are going to spend, is there? Right, you're changing tact. But you're right. No, yeah. you're, um, no I understand what, what you're what saying. What I'm saying is... Well, Arsenal could spend... They could match it, but obviously the Arsenal ownership could, well, and the model is very different. That's fair. Well, their model is... A, Liverpool's model... They did, they did make a splash a couple of years ago. And... But they got the big money for Coutinho. So there was somewhat uh, negated when they got Alisson and Van Dijk and, and one or two others. But now, I personally think they've got, the, they've got the wherewithal to go and match it, but they have a much more prudent ownership. Now, that's frustrating for the manager. We saw it last year when he wanted to go out and, and replace centre-halves and stuff, and, and there was a lot of uh, prudency within that camp and frustration. But I, I do feel, as a club, they have got the funds if the ownership wanted to spend. But with the, with the new build around the stadium and, and the pandemic, they made a decision. Mm -hmm. And I think Klopp was quite clear in terms of what he was told. And I think there is a difference between not having the ability to spend it and not having the desire to, to go down a different business model route. And I think that's Liverpool. I, I don't think Liverpool have, the, have that money to spend. If they want to spend, they have to raise it, either, either through uh, selling players or through some financial scheme. Well, raising, Chelsea have been Chelsea, ra raising, raising well, bonds. Chelsea and, don't have the cash. It's the, man, it's the owner that has the cash. Right, the owner, so right. the Fenway Sports Group and their investors, I think if they wanted can find the money, but well, they I'm, don't I'm, want to do that. Well, fair enough. Give them some of, some of the investors. Yes, they, they, they can find the money, but it's it's. But they're not they're not going they're to. They're not do it. willing. No, nobody's nobody's going to match Chelsea's if they decided they wanted Haaland. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube, and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.